Chinese fisheries science vessels are conducting research in the Arabian Sea that have long been suspected of intelligence gathering and could aid grey zone tactics by operating near strategic Indian military installations under civilian cover. The Russian Su-57 fighter jet will soon receive a new version of the Kinzhal air-launched ballistic hypersonic missile. US firm General Atomics has replaced the MQ-9B Sea Guardian drone of Indian Navy that crashed into the Bay of Bengal in September 2024. National Aerospace Laboratories is planning to build a new continuous trisonic wind tunnel facility along with the RDO and DISRO. Indian Army is gearing up to induct heavy-duty drones that can operate at ranges beyond 1,000 km, fly at altitudes over 30,000 feet to evade detection, and have an endurance of over 24 hours at a stretch. US firm General Atomics will start the delivery of the 31 MQ-9B drones to India from January 2029. The DRDO is developing a proton exchange membrane fuel cells based power plant along with a private partner for its high endurance autonomous underwater vehicle. Analysts have called to bring the AMCA program under the Prime Minister's office, that would ensure high level political and administrative focus, streamlining decision making and resource allocation. Indian Air Force is all set to forward deploy Dara Shakti electronic warfare systems near Pakistan and China fronts, that can jam multiple enemy WACs, fighter jet radars, synthetic aperture radar and encrypted communications and navigation systems. In a major development, the Indian Defence Budget Statement has confirmed that the capital outlay for the upcoming financial year will include funding for project clearance of the TED-BF program and the Gata Kunman Combat Aerial Vehicle. The Aeronautical Development Establishment has already started work on fabrication of the first Gata prototype, while the critical design review for the TED-BF program is also close to being concluded soon, and the Defence Ministry has also agreed to the Navy's reduced demand for around 80 TED-BF aircraft, instead of initial demand for 140 units. India plans to position its AMCA program on the global stage by inviting international partners to join the project after its first flight, and this strategic move aims to make it export ready from the outset. Once the initial prototypes are flown, India will actively approach countries seeking access to fifth-generation fighter technology. At least six countries are closely observing the AMCA's progress, and they are keen to acquire fifth-generation fighter technology but lack access to other options. The Indian Navy is set to fund the research and development of a deck-based unmanned combat aerial vehicle, that will be based on the 13-ton Gata QCAF platform being developed for the Indian Air Force. It will undergo significant modifications to handle the stresses of carrier landings, potentially increasing its weight to approximately 14 tons. The upcoming second indigenous aircraft carrier is being designed with considerations for operating UCAFs and male UAVs, providing a mix of capabilities that include deep strikes surveillance and electronic warfare from a sea-based platform. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.